Gonna get some cut grass. Gonna get some cut grass. I need more light and more food and more everything. What's up, guys? My name's Tony. Welcome back to Don't Starve. In the last episode, we kind of got the gist of how to play. Um, and in this episode, well, uh, we're hopefully just going to not starve. My speaking of starving, my hunger's getting a bit low. I don't know how to heal. Uh, but we managed to survive on our second attempt to get to day two, and hopefully won't die in this episode right away. Um, I'm gonna get a lot of cut grass, because it is something that, uh, we need a lot of. Uh, carrot? Okay. Use that to fill my hunger. That's good. Um, I'm going to make it a goal. Actually, is that it? Is that the one I'm- Ooh, wait, that's a weapon! Hold on. Can I go down? Oh no, okay, it's up, I wanted to go. Uh, grass suit provides a small amount of protection. That's good, but for all of the supplies, I don't think it would be needed. We're already like halfway through the quote-unquote daytime here, so that kind of scares me. Uh, I'm going to try to get a lot of logs and such to make sure we have a big enough campfire, and I'm going to maintain the campfire a lot better than I was in the last episode. I didn't mean to do that, but you know what? That works out. Um, axe. Equip. Okay, we're gonna go on and grab some logs before it turns nighttime. Because this game has shown me how afraid I am of the dark. But only in the wild. Berry bush? Okay. Flower? Uh, we're going to want to make the science machine, because if you didn't see the last episode, I would recommend going to watch it. It was interesting um we want to make a science machine so we can build these other tools for us to progress through the game um but to do so the last item we need is a gold thing which i saw one in the last episode when i was running from whatever i was running from but i did not have time to pick it up so i might have to go on a bit of a hunt and i might save that for day three day two these days go by very fast. Uh, day two might just be for collecting supplies and such. Okay, cool. I, I knew that was going to happen soon. I was actually just wondering when my axe was going to break. Um, oh, we have we have tools for a lot of these. No need to worry, as Amy Rose would say. I can't do that. Don't put yourself down there, bud. You can do whatever you say your mind to. Okay... Am I starving? Nope, I'm pretty alright. Butterfly? Bee? No, we know how those encounters go. Grass? We might have an over-supplement of supplies here, but that's okay. I'm gonna wander around the map a bit and see if I can't... Okay, well, food. Food's a good thing. Um, I'm gonna focus a little bit more on that right now. Because the whole name of the game is Don't Starve, so that's kind of... What we're going for here. Um, gold, gold, gold on the ceiling. Some, some, just a matter of time before we feel it. Don't remember any of the words. Uh, gold doesn't look like it's going to be a thing that happens here. I also still don't know how to heal. I'm hoping I find that out eventually. Um. Oh, jeez. Now I don't think. I'm going to run out of supplies. Oh, this doesn't look friendly. I don't think I'm going to run out of supplies. But just to be safe, I would like to put my campfire near a place where I could easily obtain more supplies. It's not super nighttime yet, so that's alright. I might just start cutting through the super nighttime portions because as, as of right now, we can't exactly do anything while they happen. I don't have enough torches made to where I could just wander around and look for things. This map is also very small, it seems. Like, excuse me. But that's probably just because I haven't done much exploring. I've only done exploring in one uh, one direction. Her, her. And I feel like we could probably craft, like, a boat or something? I feel like that's a possibility. Um, I might want to create the campfire. Okay, so I can create one and not necessarily have to build it just yet. That's good. Um, 
four? Did I make four? I didn't mean to if I did. Yeah, I feel like we need to make a boat or something to float across these areas because this is a very limited place. We're about to go into super nighttime here. What is this? What is that? Oh, those are the bones from earlier, just a different location. Okay, super nighttime is happening, so I'm going to have that campfire there. Uh, I'm going to switch to my logs so that I can constantly be adding fuel. Um, while also kind of trying to go out and find the piece of gold. There's got to be one piece of gold around here to make that science machine. And I'm really hoping to find it there on day three. But guarantees are not had. Also, it's fading. Add fuel. You're okay, bud. Can I, like... Okay. So now it's super night time. I added a little bit too much fuel. I thought that, like, the fuel was what was keeping me looking out there. You know what I mean? But it wasn't. So uh, I think I'm just going to cut ahead until we hit day three. As you saw a glimpse there, I was able to... Ooh, good, daytime. Way to, way to go. Um, I was able to roast my carrots, so that's pretty cool. Um, that gave me a little bit more... Oh, that adds health, too. That's what that does. I was going to say, I don't, I don't think it's adding more to my hunger. However, it was giving me a little bit of health back, so that's good. Now we have... A full day to hopefully look for more carrots and find gold. Gold is the goal, but carrots, a big, big supplement of carrots, is not anything to be complained about. Also, I should probably chop down more trees, because I didn't get too many logs. I mean, I got a fair amount, but, you know. Ooh, mushroom. I can't get it. Okay, that's fine. Really hoping for some gold up here. Just kind of... Just kind of hoping. So how much is my axe at? 70%? 70% A-OK. -okay. okay, it goes down with every hit. It goes down 1%. That's cool. I can kind of keep a good eye on it. And I'm going to assume that I'm going to have to, you know, start making like a farm of some sort and growing my own trees because I don't think that this environment is going to last me forever but it might last a long time i don't know more flint just in case gold around here no but carrots carrots are good oh a lot of carrots too very very good for tony carrot one carrot two carrot oh jesus well hold on now hold on now i want nothing i am not having this Away with you. Okay, cool. He wasn't nearly as on a mission as the other guy was. Dude who chased me last episode was going, like, the whole way. Okay, carrots. Yay. Still grab some, even if that guy's gonna come try to attack me. Gold somewhere? Seeds are probably something that I need. How many seeds do I have? Berries, two seeds, two seeds and two berries. That's that's okay, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know like what's what's a good amount of anything to have at this point in the game. I just kind of know. Do I have a pickaxe still? I do. Can I equip it? Okay. Okay. So that's kind of cool that I don't need to be like on the thing uh, to have it equipped, so I can use other items as well. And I can always have it on the axe in case I need to equip very quickly. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Here's the thing. Uh, now, my sense of direction is pretty A-OK. -okay, but as of right now, it's kind of failing me. Uh, I think we've been here. However, not 100% sure. Also, I'm not letting my, my man here fi finish his tasks. Tell him to go pick up a carrot and then immediately try to move him. He doesn't know what to do. 
those birds keep coming down like right next to the screen and I don't know if I want to be scared <laughs> because they look a lot bigger than they actually are. And they're right up against the screen. A lot of carrots to be found. Not a gold thing in sight. Interesting. I don't know if that's the goal I should be having, though. You know what I mean? Ooh, what are you, guy? Hold on. What's this? Pig head? Activate? Oh, I'm afraid. What was that? What did I do? What an odd looking stone. Yeah? What happens if I, like... Hold on. I feel like I could... No, it's not like made like for a campfire. I don't know why I think that. It just looks like it. It's getting late. It'll be dark soon. Okay, well, I'm going to set up somewhere. I don't know what that place is, but I'm going to keep that in mind. I'm going to try to keep that as like an initial location to be get that campfire going. Um... I get to mine you, sir. I wonder if boulders have gold in them, like any of them. Ooh, that happened. Hold on. Fire pit. A safer, more efficient campfire. That sounds good to me. However, we don't really need it. I can also create a trap for small animals. Something I might want to start doing soon. Um, I can create a spear if I have what looks to be rope. I don't have any of that, though. Something to soothe the ner soothe the nerves. What is that even? I have nine of it. That's the first thing. Oh, petals. Okay. Apologies for that cut. I went on a bit of a sneeze fest. What? Uh... Okay. Seems better. I don't know where to find petals. I guess if I like attack flowers or something is that the whole point here well let me see there we go yeah okay so flowers that's that's something I need slash want I don't know I feel like I need everything in this game there's that thing there I don't know what that does but it's also becoming super nighttime so I don't think I want to go towards something that looks remotely like a Satan sacrificial thing it kind of does. The campfire is fading as this is happening. That's probably not good. I have a, I have a lot of flint, so can I just... No. Okay, that's good. I think if you put in, like, a, a large amount of logs, like, even if you don't need that many, I think it makes it last longer. So that's interesting. I don't know if that's actually how it works, but, I mean, if so, it makes it fairly easy to not waste materials, which is pretty cool. I'm really enjoying this game. I never really like to have said anything like that, but uh I, I really am enjoying this game and there's a lot of cool things. It's like it's good to relive the experience because when I played Minecraft for the first time, when you when you play Minecraft and you don't really know Rabbit Hole. The Kingdom of Bunny Men, dude let's go. Okay. Uh when you play a game like Mar Minecraft or Terraria you kind of discover what you can create on your own, and that as a whole is the entire experience, and that's something I really love about those games. So to be able to do that again, and replicate that feeling with this game is really cool, and uh, it's got a very Tim Burton vibe to it, which is something I'm, I'm really a fan of, even though I'm not uh, a fan of his more recent films. I, <laughs> I like the art style, is what I'm trying to say. So it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Everything as a whole is, is pretty cool. It's really dark and mysterious. And it, like, it feels like there's this... There's this thing that, like, it's waiting for you... It's waiting for me to discover something. And I haven't found it yet. That's, like, an initial feeling I'm getting. And it's really cool. Did I get a thing? Oh, yeah, I need more flowers. That's a thing today. Um, I'm... I think I'm gonna... Oh, jeez. Hold on. I, I, I messed up here. 
I keep using the directional pad, like, subconsciously, and it's just not working out in my favor. Did I craft the thing? Where is it? Or did I, did I tell him not to somehow? Okay, yeah. I stopped him from that for some reason. Um... What is this? What are these little slots? Is that just for the pickaxe? Okay, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to end it off here. In the next episode, we will uh, continue our quest to find the one thing of gold to create the science machine. And we're also going to pick at a couple more flowers to see what sort of remedy it said um, that we are able to create out of that. What is that? I'm going to steer clear of that, and we will find out in the next episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Seeds. Cool.